So we're going to prep our wrists for training. Now, if we are an individual who tends to lift a lot of weights or do lots of bodyweight work, uh, maybe gymnastics, things like that, we tend to put a lot of strain through, through these joints. But it's not a common area of preparation. You know, we don't often tend to see people soft tissue releasing the forearms, um, mobilizing the wrists. Commonly, we will tend to do it on, on the, bigger, the bigger muscles in the body. So um, that's exactly what we look at today. So we'll start off with some massage. I will show you guys how to add a little bit of extra compression onto, onto your forearms, which is gonna allow the vibrations to travel up into the tissue um, a little bit more and it's going to help to hydrate that tissue even more than it than it normally would then we're going to look at some soft tissue work uh, wrist right up into the elbow as well um, sort of right up into here trying to protect those elbows and then we look at flexibility and mobility so we'll mobilize our wrists and then we look at some stability work as well first part of wrist prep is going to be massage so um, a lot of the time, if we're lifting weights, so just holding something, forearms are working really, really hard. Uh, even sometimes if you just grab onto your arm, you can feel hot spots. So we need to plate to, to try and massage and help everything just rehydrate, especially those tissues. So arm's gonna come onto here, and all I'm looking to do is to simply compress my arm into the plate. So in terms of uh, settings, you can have quite a high setting for this, so we increase the vibration. But again, it's whatever you feel comfortable with. So just leaning forwards. Just gonna put a little bit of compression through my arm. And again, just exploring, seeing how it feels. Playing around with different positions. So nice, simple way to massage the forearms. So we're gonna move on to some soft tissue work for the wrist and elbow and everything that sits in between our forearms. So if you think about how much work our forearms do when we're holding weights, pulling, pushing, throwing, whatever it is that we're doing in body weight work, um, there's so much tension through here, so it's really important to get in there, try and rehydrate all of the tissue through a bit of soft tissue work. So we've got the peanut sitting on the plate, and all we're gonna do is just explore everything from the wrist up to the elbow. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure down through my arm onto the peanut. So just having a little play around on the forearm, changing direction as well. So trying to explore the entire limb. You can sort of focus wrist to about halfway up the arm just to so stay in one, one area, one local area. And then from there we can progress up, up the forearm and then get a right round into the elbow. If we find any hot spots in there, it's quite nice to then just rotate the hand and the wrist, just to pump a bit more fluid into the tissues. Similar principle that we might use with the ankle when we do the calf massage and soft tissue work as well. So, Soft tissue work for your forearm. Um, again, just trying to get everything prepared so when we go in there and we do body weight work or, or adding load to the body, pushing and pulling, our wrists and elbows are gonna be really well looked after. So moving on to mobility for, for the wrists. So we're gonna go through quite a, quite a long sequence of mobility drills. Um, just wanna showcase lots of, lots of different options for you guys. You don't have to do them all in one go. Um, the best thing to do would maybe to, to pick one option and just work through it. Again, because it's a joint that we don't pay that much attention to a lot of the time, just want to remind you guys to be careful with the range of movement that you're, that you're going for. So we'll set up the plates. So, you're gonna find a comfortable position to be in. For me, I quite like to be up, have my feet on the floor, legs bent, so I'm in this athletic position. And all I'm going to do from here 
to drive forwards and backwards. Again, I don't really want my hands to come off, so I'm trying to keep the bottom of my hand, the palm of my hand in contact the entire time. From there, I'm just going to rock left and right. Just getting into that frontal plane. And then I'm going to add in a bit of rotation. So I'm trying to keep my arms, I can have a slight bend if I like. Sometimes if you rock them out, the vibrations will travel up into your head. And then I'll do exactly the same thing on the other side. So that'll be circuit one, that's sort of your um, entry level to that. Hands tense, hands and wrist tense, we feel quite comfortable through that. If that feels okay, we're gonna explore it a little bit more. We can move on to our second option. It's gonna be exactly the same format, moving forwards, backwards, left, right, and rotating. But I'm just gonna turn my hands around, which gives me much more stretch through my forearms. So now the stretch is gonna come on when I'm leaning back. If I go too far over, it's not too comfortable for me, I can feel that vibrating up through my head. So I'm just gonna find that, that spot and then reach back. So I'm looking at probably about 10 reps here. I'm gonna find that stretch point, then just rock it left and right. Get about 10 reps. And then, just gonna add in some rotation. Five to 10, both ways. So that would be part two of the, of the mobility drills for the wrist. Again, if that feels good, we can move on to, to another option of, of where we've got our hands. And there are loads of different places to put your hands, but we've just chosen four. So this would be number three. So we're just going to come into this position, turning the hands out. I'm just going to, again, same principle, I'm just going to rock forwards and backwards. Just driving a different angle through the wrists. And if we think about all the push up options that exist out there, our hands should be in different positions all the time. So it's good to mobilize them through different positions. So that'd be our third one. Our fourth one is a little bit more challenging. So I'm gonna go with the back of the hand on the plate. Now this can be relatively uncomfortable through the wrist, so you've just gotta be a little bit careful with how much weight you put through, through this joint. But again, same principles apply. I'm just gonna rock forwards and backwards, keeping my arms slightly bent. Just playing around with it, seeing how it feels. It feels okay. I'm gonna move left and right. So I'm sort of driving that movement with my shoulders and hips. And then to finish off, just gonna add in a little bit of rotation. Do the same thing both ways. Again, in terms of reps, you're looking for about 10 reps, forwards, backwards, 10 left and right, and 10 rotations each way. You've got four options there. Um, feel free to choose all of them, or just one or two. The last piece of our wrist prep is gonna be some stability work. So, I'm gonna come up onto the plate, and get into this athletic position, and all we're gonna to look to do is pull one hand and one foot off the floor. So we have opposites, going to sit in this position for say two to three seconds, come back down, do exactly the same thing on the other side. If it feels too much, like if you feel like you're um, too unstable in that position, we can just put both feet on the ground and all you're doing is removing one point of contact. So it'll be from here, just pulling that hand off the plate, pressing that down, one hand off the plate. Just starting to challenge stability through the, through the wrists. So nice and stable here, looking to just pull opposite hand and foot off the plate, try and maintain that position. Again, I want to be in this athletic position, feel comfortable in this position through the vibration. Looking at about 30 seconds of work here. that last piece of preparation before we go in and maybe challenge our wrists and elbows through some body weight training, gymnastics, some, some hand balance work, or maybe we're just adding load through pushing and pulling. <laughs> 